Oh, sorry. On Melmac, cats are a delicacy. And if you don't know Melmac, you definitely don't know his most famous citizen, Alf. Ha! Yeah, I killed me. Right now, we're in a golden age for sci-fi shows, but back in the day, there weren't many extraterrestrials on the tube. So when a furry, wisecracking, trunk-nosed alien made his debut on NBC in 1986, it was a very big deal. My name is Alf. I come from the planet Melmac. I'm a member of a civilization millions of years ahead of your own. Remember, we were still a few years from Star Trek The Next Generation, so geeks had to take what we could get. Created by Paul Fusco and sitcom vet Tom Patchett, the series was groundbreaking on many fronts. First of all, no primetime TV show had ever threatened so much violence against cats. Speaking of which, if you have any feline friends about, this is a good time for them to leave the room. Okay. Now that we're clear of kitties, let's get back to business. Fusco didn't have much experience in making TV, but he was pretty good with puppets. Fusco later recalled that his pitch about an alien coming down to Earth and making life hell for an overly generous family was sinking with NBC president Brandon Tartikoff, until he busted out the ALF puppet, which he was keeping beneath the table. Alf didn't really say anything, Alf just kind of looked around the room and picked his nose and wiped it on Tartikoff. It was a gutsy move, but wiping fake snot on the guy who came up with must-see TV totally worked, give or take. Tartikoff wanted to cancel the show after they shot the pilot. Luckily, his young daughter loved it, and Daddy didn't want to disappoint. Alf was always going to be a star, but they did have to cast a bunch of humans to play the beleaguered Tanner family. No. Not that Tanner family, there's two TV Tanner families, though that would make for a great crossover. And supporting cast included Max Wright, who played the always stressed out dad, Willie. He was always threatening to send Alf out on his furry butt, but we knew who really ruled that house. And Shadeen played Kate, the patient mother of teen daughter Lynn and son Brian. Alf learned about all kinds of human traditions, like Christmas and not eating cats, but he also taught them all about Melmac. For example, on his homeworld, Alf goes by the name Gordon Shumway. That's right, Alf's not even his name. It just stands for Alien Life Form. A-L-F, Alf, get it? And Melmac had a lot of strange traditions, at least to us boring Earthlings. First of all, their money system was all screwed up. The most valuable currency, foam, worth $1,000 a bubble. And you know what else was absolutely worthless? Gold. Even bottle caps and cat hair were more valuable. They never really explained how they wound up with cats, gold, and bottle caps on a planet so far away, but this was before the plot hole era, so yeah, that was a subtweet. Alf was forced to stay at the Tanner's house, lest the government get wind that a furry alien was here on Earth. You'd think that would make the show simple, but it was still a crazy complicated show to make. They had to build all kinds of trenches in the floor of the set so that Alf could move around. And people often fell through the holes, which were four or five feet deep. It took three puppeteers to work the puppet, including one that had a remote control that made the puppet's eyebrows move. But funny story, you could never call Alf a puppet. He was always referred to as Alf on Fusco's orders. Benji Gregory, who played Brian, later said that they were required to tell the press that Alf was really an alien. Now that's fake news. The shoots would take forever, with setup changes lasting hours on end. Tensions ran high, and Max Wright, a classically trained actor, used to yell and storm off set. Cool, like Christian Bale. But all the trouble was worth it. After a slow start, Alf became a hit. Airing at 8 p.m. on Mondays, it started to regularly win its time slot, and even enter the Nielsen Top 10 at one point. As they got more popular, they had to tone down Alf's antics. No more beer, no more microwaving cats, because, yeah, a kid really tried to microwave their cat using Alf as an inspiration. But I'm gonna say an excuse. We really hope you kicked your cat out of the room for this. Once Alf became a role model, he also became a cash cow. They made an animated series and a Marvel comic book detailing his adventures. And Alf merchandise was a hot commodity. Toys, posters, stickers, shirts, even baseball cards. Yep, Topps came out with a whole line of cards based on the Melmechian sport of baseball played with fish guts. Alf merchandise made 250 million in 1987 alone, which is absolutely absurd. There are six video games featuring Alf, which puts him up there with Mario and Sonic. And Alf became super popular in Germany, which had a weird thing for NBC stars in the 80s. My name is Alf. Ich komme direkt vom Planeten Melmark. It's too bad Alf wasn't able to join David Hasselhoff on the Berlin Wall as it fell. But he did get to go to the White House Christmas party in 1987, where Ronald Reagan told Paul Fusco that Alf was his favorite show. Fusco later said, 
That made me worry more about him. ALF ultimately lasted four seasons and 99 episodes. It ended on a cliffhanger in 1990 when ALF gets caught by the government. It took until 1996 to get some closure. ABC ran an ALF special that year called Project ALF. But just because he didn't have his own show didn't mean he didn't spend a lot of time on TV. He was on Matlock and Blossom, spent lots of time on Hollywood Squares, and has made cameos in shows like Family Guy and Robot Chicken. Plus, Alf has continued to get that sweet commercial work. Unfortunately, his ads for Radio Shack didn't save that company, but it's probably not the alien's fault. He also had his own talk show in 2004 on TV Land, but it only lasted seven episodes. Still, you have to admit, ALF has had a pretty great run for the last 30 years. What began as a raggedy puppet in a comedy act became one of the biggest characters of the last three decades. Everyone could use a little ALF in their lives. Just, you know, keep your cats away from him. Meow.